Okay, it's 2024, it's April 8th. We're at a total eclipse right now. It's 326 and 327. We're in Burlington, Vermont. April 8th, Craig the Butterfly Man. Dot com. There's Kai. He's a physicist, works for Brookhaven Labs. He's my new best friend. We're having fun. There's Mary. Mary, can you wave? It's totally dark. It's 3.30 in the afternoon, folks. 3.30 in the afternoon. We have 6,000 people here on Lake Champlain in Burlington, Vermont. We're talking about first time in my life I've ever remember seeing it dark at 3.30 in the afternoon. Look at this. It looks like a sunset. You see it? It looks like a sunset. Look how beautiful the sky is. It's a beautiful sunset. There's Kai. He's looking into his telescope. I'm telling you, Kai's the man. He's got all the toys. Look at this. He's got two or three telescopes here. He's got binoculars. Look at this. Here it is. Look at this. The ring. Okay? See it? There it is. This is in his telescope. What's the power on this telescope, Kai? Uh, wait. Right here. This one. He's busy. He's a physicist. You know, he's a busy man. Let's go. He's looking at this one. Okay, here's Mary. Mary, wave. Say hi. It's hard, you know. It's going to be starting to... Okay. Look at it. It looks like a sunset on this camera. See, there it is. This, the... the, the the uh, uh, moon is now starting to move away. Uh, oh man, this is beautiful. Wow. Okay. Craig Butterfly Man. I'm 75, May 6, folks, and this will never happen again in my lifetime. This is the first time I ever remember it being this dark at 3.30 in the afternoon. And there he is. He's looking. It's Kai again. You're looking at this, look at this, folks. I hope you can see this with my video camera. That's the corona. This is you a, see that? Yeah, it's got a corona yeah, around it. Corona. It's called a corona. And you see the star, like below the sun. There's a little star below yeah. the sun. I don't know whether you can see this, folks. I'm gonna try to go in. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, there it is. I don't know whether it's gonna show up on the video. Yeah, now it's come out. Okay. The sun is coming back out. See, it's coming out. Lower left. I'm not. Lower left is coming out, folks. It's been three minutes. It's been dark. We're moving. And we're back. See, the sunset's over. It's only been a three-minute sunset. We're coming back. You can see that right here, folks. You can see what's going on. Wow. It's getting light, folks. You've seen the whole thing. We got it all. We got the whole thing, folks. It's getting light again. There's 6,000 people over here. We can see the people again. There we go. This guy, my physicist friend, but right next, he's got this little text. And he's from, he's from Queens. It's a guy from Queens, New York. He's parked right next in his Tesla, right next to our motorhome. We brought up from Branford, Connecticut yesterday, drove up here. So we could get a get the whole thing. It was clear. It's great. That's lightening back up, folks. And this that was it. It's quick. Yeah, now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go back over here to the telescope. We're videotaping, and it's starting to uncover now. See, it's on the other side now. It's coming out. Yeah. It's coming out of it. Oh, it was great, right? It was great. It was great. Wow, did you like that? Yeah. Kai, way to go, bro. I'm really happy. Way to go. Yeah. We did good, man. Yeah, thank you. Wonderful job, buddy. You did a great job. Here we go, folks. This is it. I'll be putting this on YouTube, the YouTube channel, Craig the Butterfly Man YouTube channel. And it has a picture of a little girl 
at the top of the YouTube channel. There's another YouTube channel that has me pointing at some graphs of monarch butterflies because I'm a monarch butterfly conservationist. I have a 300,000 member organizations, a group, organization of groups in North America, the largest butterfly conservation group in the world. Well, we had to come up for this. Google our site. CraigTheButterflyMan.com with a C, Craig the Butterfly Man. And this is Kai. Again, this is, he's a physicist, works for Brookhaven Labs. And we just happened to line up together and be two cars apart and we got a chance to see a phenomenon that won't be seen again for, how long is it gonna be before this is seen again, Kai? You know? <laughs> When's the next time this will happen? Uh, if if for the same city. No, Montana. Take, okay, same city. If for same city, usually take like uh, hundreds of years. Hundreds of years, but, but the next uh, time will be twenty years, Montana. Usually, yeah, yeah, but usually it take maybe like few years. It will happen somewhere else. Right. In the in the world. Sure. So it's not that rare, like in the point of view of the entire Earth. But uh, it's, it's rare for a city, like okay. for, for, for a place. For it one particular again. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but it don't won't happen here. It won't happen here for a long time, folks. Okay. There they go, folks. They've seen it. Now they're heading out. Everybody give Dr. Mark Kushner a round of applause and a warm welcome for explaining all this.